What is up guys, Project WRX here for another video. Um, so today we have a, uh, a package I ordered. Um, I used Prime. I ordered it a couple days ago. Came two days. Nice two day shipping uh, from Amazon. This is a suction cup mount. Uh, I haven't been making my in-car videos because my suction cup mount broke. So this uh, is the, if I recall, the name. It's a, it's a GoPro mount, but it works with phones as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut straight to the unboxing. It's a dual suction cup. All right. So here it is, and then we have the inside packaging. Just some bubble packaging. And then we have right here, move that to the side. We have here the smat tree. I'm probably butchering the name, smart tree, smart tree. It's the dual suction cup mount. Um, and uh, let's get to opening it. So. All right. Here we have it. So first thing that comes out of the box is the uh, the part that would grip your phone. Um, it's basically an extra accessory that you pay three dollars for. And then you have here the mount. Um, this is supposed to be a stable. A stable mount for the car. It's solid, um, solid one piece. You have a uh, here. You have instructions. You have more instructions. And also, you have this uh, attachment. If you wanted to put a GoPro on, that's nice. I don't have a GoPro, so I won't be using that. And then you have right here the mount itself, and it does have a ball joint up here. And then it has, that's, if you wanted to attach the GoPro, you would go ahead and just screw that on and put your GoPro on. In my case, I'm not using it for a GoPro, so I will just loosen that up. Take this, take this part out, right here. Now you're just left with this part right here. And I'm going to put in the foam part so that I can continue to make my in-car vlogs like normally should. So just should click right into place here. Loosen it. There we go. And now it is in place. Right. So it's a uh, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, this is how it works. You basically press a button up here, or on the back there is a button. You press and it spreads the arms. And then you would place your phone in between and then close it, and it will basically suck to you, um, grab onto your phone. Peel that first. I didn't notice that was on there. Right. Place this on here. Loosen them. Place it. Lock. Lock. As you can see, I'm basically moving the table. It's not going anywhere. Um, I'll be back in a second with my phone. Put my phone in there. And then we'll take it to the car and show you guys how uh, how it looks from inside the car. So I'm actually filming with my nicer phone. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my less nicer phone inside here. Right here. And you would go ahead and squeeze it. And it's not really going anywhere. Um... And then you have the adjustments from down here to uh, adjust it to however you want it. And then you would have the ball joint behind here. And you could twist it whichever way you want. Yeah. So that's basically it for today's video. Um, I'll be using this from now on inside the car for, uh, for my vlogs. And I might also attach it to the outside of the car once I get a GoPro to film from exhaust notes and stuff like that. So this is a little bit of a different video, not something I normally do. Um, well that worked. Not something I normally do, but I'm going to go ahead and post this video anyway um, because it's a great product um, for anyone who's been looking for something like this. Um, very strong and I'll be posting a uh, longer term review on how it works out later on. but. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.